Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Quiet Time. I'm here, your dearly beloved Rose Bijer Ramirez, and I welcome you to this another session of Quiet Time. And this morning, I want somebody to understand that God is on your side. Hallelujah. God is on your side, and God's will is that He should bless you. God's will is that He should give you more than you need. More than you need. Hallelujah. And so this morning, my topic for this morning is um, a crumbs enough. A crumbs enough. Hallelujah. The book of Matthew 17, 21 to 28 um, is talking about the the story of this woman who said in his in, in the word that says, Is it it is not meat to take the crumbs, the children's and take the children's bread and cast it to dogs? The truth truth lord yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table this woman this woman was going to jesus seeking for help seeking for support just like many of us go to god seeking for help seeking for support only to be told that you know she couldn't have anything she couldn't have that because the food was only for the children, not for dogs. Imagine having a problem such as being having a diagnosis of a certain disease like cancer or any other kind of disease. Imagine being laid off work. Imagine failing at an exam. Imagine needing a miracle. Imagine needing help. And then you go to somebody and the doctor says to you, I'm very, very sorry, but there's nothing I can do for you today. Imagine, hallelujah, going to seek for a job and an employer says to you, sorry, you didn't make it through this interview. Just imagine, hallelujah, you've reached at the end of your wits, hallelujah. You've tried wizards, you tried people, and then you come to your final end, the final person that you need to look for help for. You hear about somebody that is able to do something for you. You've gone through every research, you've gone through every option of help. You found no help, no support, and you hear about a guy that is in town, and this guy is able to help according to people, and then you go and find him, and then he tells you, you're a dog. I cannot give you anything. I cannot give you anything. Oh God, you know he's the only person. Your last resort. The only one that is able to give you something. Your last hope. Hallelujah. Mm. He's your only hope. Then you see him passing by. He has lots of people around him. Lots of security around him. And so it's difficult to get close to this person. But desperately you go because you are desperate. And you cry out to him. And in desperation you seek support. In desperation you cry out to him and he notices you. You cause a scene just to be noticed. And then you get there. He's your last chance. He's your only hope. Hallelujah. You plead with him for help. He ignores you. You plead again. He ignores you. You push your way in. He ignores you. You say, Lord have mercy. He answers and he says to you, I was only sent. I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That means I wasn't sent to people like you. I wasn't sent for the likes of you. That means my blessing, you are not worth my blessing. You're not worth my time. You are not worth what you're asking me. You don't deserve it in other words. Go away in other words. I'm not interested. I'm not here for you. At this point, how many of us would give up? How many of us would give up? In fact, how many of us have given up because we've been given answers like, I can't do anything for you. Answers like, you can't make it. Answers that you can't have this. How many of us have given us? This woman did not give up. A crumbs enough. A crumbs good enough. That's my topic. This woman did not give up. She continued to plead because this was her last hope. Her last resort. Her only hope. She desperately continued to plead. She said, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs, the Lord said. But she said, I understand, but I can I can get the crumbs. I understand. I don't want the food from the table. I know you are able to do this for me. If only you give me crumbs, they will be enough for me. She persevered. 
He says, I don't want the meat, but I know you can do something for me. I'm going to settle just for crumbs because your crumbs are more than enough for me. Because your crumbs can satisfy my needs. Because your crumbs are more than what I need this morning. Because your crumbs can help me. At this point, many of us would have given up, but she went with perseverance and humility. Hallelujah. She didn't back off. She knew what she wanted. This morning, I want you to be determined. Persevere. I don't know if it's an evening you're watching this video, but be determined, persevere, believe in God that is able to do this for you. Believe in the God that is able to do this for you. Do not allow yourself to be dismissed. Don't give up. She said, yes, Lord, I understand, but the dogs eat of the crumbs that fall from the master's table too. She knew all she needed was crumbs. She agreed to be called the dog. She humbled herself. And you know what? That humility, that humility, <laughs> made that Jesus looked upon her favorably. That humility enabled Jesus to look at her favorably. That humility enabled Jesus to give her what she wanted. What are we drawing from this? When you come to Jesus, your attitude will turn crumbs into sufficiency for you. Your attitude will turn crumbs to be enough for you. Admit your position when you come to Christ. Understand where you're standing at. Understand that you need the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Understand that you are at the position where you've got no other hope, no other resort, no other help, no other support, no other option. And Christ is your only option. Understand where you stand. Know where you are. Humble yourself. Mm -mm -mm. be forceful because the kingdom of God belongs to the forceful it's all about the survival of the fittest hallelujah ignore all boundaries ignore all obstacles people may push against you the storms of life may push against you people may talk ill about you they may stop you they may try and discourage you from going after that blessing but don't listen to them ignore all obstacles ignore all obstacles break all boundaries hallelujah believe on the grace of God, believe that the grace is sufficient for you. Hallelujah. Expect a reward. Go to God with humility of heart and with an expectant heart and with a determined heart. Expect a reward. No one meets Christ Jesus and remains the same. Nobody. All that come to Jesus, don't go empty handed. There's always a change. There's always a reward. Be like Jacob. Persevere, say, until you bless me, I'm not going to let you go. Be like this woman, until you bless me, I'm not going to let you go. I will get at least crumbs, but I'm not going to leave here empty-handed because you're my only hope and I've come to you and I'm gonna, not going to leave empty-handed. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 12 verse 9 says, Your grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. Your attitude will turn even the crumbs into sufficiency for you it's all about determination of your heart are you determined are you persevering are you persevering are you uh, uh, encouraged are you um, uh, uh, forceful are you are uh, um, engaging are you humble what are you expecting your attitude will turn your crumbs into sufficiency remember what you want persevere go after it go after the goal paul says daily I, I i i go i face i run toward that goal that mark of the high calling of christ what is it that you are after what is your crown until you get the crown don't give up keep running the race until you get your blessing don't give up keep clinging unto him be like jacob until he blesses you don't give up. The distractions of you being broken on your sides, having your ribs broken, having your legs broken, having your sides punched, that, that's not, that's things to distract you. But the main goal is you need to get your reward. You need to get your blessing. May my God bless you. Until next time, remember, crumbs can turn into sufficiency. It's all about your attitude. Be encouraged, be uplifted, and be blessed.